it's, I mean, it's no secret that my collection revolves around Los Angeles and my um, upbringing in LA. Being really young and having time to kind of hang out with kids that are older than you, you know, you start getting exposed to like a lot of things and, and uh, it kind of cements itself into your DNA and it's all these things you kind of remember. During that time, the Sunset Strip was wild. You had uh, the Roxy, there was a club called Gazari's. There was the Rainbow, which is like infamous for like Guns N' Roses always hanging out there. I was so much younger that I could most of the time not get into these clubs and these bars and we would just hang out in front and watch all the kids kind of spill out into the street. And a lot of them were aspiring musicians who would come to LA for record deals and um, their style would be uh, so significant and, and, and aggressive and uh, they'd be running in the streets wild and as a kid it almost looked heroic and they almost seemed like they were moving in slow motion to me so the way they dressed or the way they tied a flannel around their waist or the girls they hung out with all of it seemed super romantic from the eyes of a, a 16 year old the rock stars now aren't necessarily rock musicians. Some are rappers, some are athletes, um, some are models, but the energy is the same. Seeing someone like Travis Scott on stage um, performing, is, 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 to me is the same energy as watching Axl Rose in front of 50,000 people. As far as their style, you could see that everything kind of reverts back to the classics. So ripped jeans and a vintage t-shirt is still as relevant as it was in 1991. It's nice to be able to not just create clothes for people, but kind of discuss what they're wearing and how it makes them feel and what they, what they look for too. Because when you're creating these um, pieces, you're imagining this person wearing them. And sometimes to sit in your studio and get a visit from the biggest DJ in the entire world or the, one of the biggest pop icons living to sit with you and say, oh, I really love this. And oh, I like the way this is. Uh, and it's such a it's such a rare uh, it's such a rare privilege. When Guns N' Roses got uh, reunited for Coachella, I was fortunate enough to uh, style and design all the clothes for for the tour. After Coachella, I found myself in a room uh, sitting across from uh, Axl Rose, who was mainly one of the main inspirations of the collection when it started. We sat and talked for about forty five minutes and had a few beers and talked about fashion and style and how he developed his own personal style and all those things that kind of brought about um, his iconic look. And it was uh, really amazing because uh, for me, I kind of chased that spirit and I, I tried to hone in on that spirit. And now I'm sitting with the guy who created it organically.